against the Stampede. So that's mm. where, yeah, Dream Call's great. Five, he's great. Yeah. That, that might be Cyclone a good way to deal with the uh, Centaur ult is uh, Ag's, Ag's uh, Puck and just try yeah. to kite it. I mean, that's kind of far-fetched, but it's still an option to consider. Some people might choose with Yules, maybe like a Song of the Sirens sleep. Who knows? Or oh, return of like support Naga Sirens or something. Dude, support the Naga ulti, is so sleep. legit. With Everything's the Acceptor or just like in general? In general. Yeah. I mean, that hero is insane. Like, that was, I mean, that was TI3. Everyone was just running support Naga Sign. Well, every, by everyone, I mean mostly Alliance, but teams quickly picked up that that was the way to play the hero. Some people also like uh, having Disruptor versus Stampede, so people can't get away. It's also yep. decent versus uh, Shallow Grave. And it's a good way to keep people in place, so you can drop that ultimate. However, it can be countered by BKBs, something that probably Team Secret is a little bit wary of. <laughs> So you have Queen of Pain Band now come out from Team Secret. And then you mentioned like the mech carriers, and this is where for Team Malaysia have fewer options as far as that mech carrier goes. They can always go Bristle. I was about to say, if they want to do Centaur safe lane, Bristleback does work quite yeah. nicely and suit Ohio pretty well. Bristle Dazzle is pretty common. You know, there's still a Wisp in the pool also, which could be, I guess, Team Secret's normally Kuro, well, Kuro more known for his visits than Puppy. But depending on how they, I mean, Poppy can play the Visage or the Wisp there. Well, I mean, it in. Malaysia's probably like, well, if they really want a Wisp, they would have taken a first phase. Yeah. I so mean. clearly they don't want it that badly. I wonder if Malaysia would even consider running it themselves. Like I a Wisp plus Bristleback or something. I don't think so. Doesn't seem that too much their style. There we go. There's your offlane for Team Secret. Standard pick for Zai. We've seen a lot of his clockwork throughout, well, 6.83 at least. I'm about to say throughout this tournament. They played one game. Although, I believe he was on Clockwork that game. Yeah, was so it? yeah. things are going to change up a little bit with the Clockwork in the mix. Just need heavy range. Magnus not as good anymore. And yeah, it's still questioning what S4's hero is going to be. But Maybe it's good Brewmaster? to keep... Brewmaster? Brewmaster? Beastmaster? Maybe, or the Beastmaster, another possibility. Beastmaster, I think, is good. It's a little bit better. The Beastmaster aura with Visage birds. Kind of okay. I mean, the birds hit super fast already. But pretty much some way to keep them in place. Hookshot and Cog, obviously, pretty solid combo versus that. And locked into Cogs with Visage familiars is no fun at all. All right, so we'll see what Team Malaysia have in mind. This pick going to probably reveal a bit more about what they have in mind. Centaur still kind of ambiguous which lane he's going to as to what there may be other support going to be. So wait and see what that will, what will come out. Another hero they run with, which uh, that replaces Thank the Viper every now and then, is the Razor. But for now, it's a PL pick. Mm, into the Gyro. Mm. Mm -mm. We've seen PL pick twice. I think twice it was versus Gyro, and twice it lost. PL's lost, I think, three times. All the entire tournament. I, 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 I think it's only been played twice. Yeah, maybe. It's, it's lost every single it time. Has not been the pick of this tournament, at least. But maybe here in Malaysia, feel confident in. Yeah. It does have the Dazzle back him up. You get that bonus armor from the weave and... But at the same time, the, the, a lot of the movement around in 6.84 is happens really quickly and really early. And I think Phantom Lancer kind of succumbs to that just because he just needs space to farm. He, he needs to farm up, I would say, for at least 20 minutes. <laughs> to say, Malaysia going to pull the Cuddle PL. And then Team Secret say, no, we're taking the Cuddle. <laughs> Keeper of the Light is coming our way. Mmm, Cuddle. Well... I mean, Malaysia, at this point, they'll see that and say, we're probably not pushing our ending this game very quickly against Coddle. Could be Coddle Storm, Coddle Zeus, and I think either of those are good picks, and Malaysia can't ban both of them. But yeah, Keeper's, keeper's a good pick. I, I actually think Puppy's a really good Keeper of the Light. Although sometimes he dies a little bit too much, but for most of the time, it's, it's for a good reason. Team Malaysia, I... I'm just not the biggest fan of a, of a PL pick, and especially a PL pick before the fifth pick. Just because I think you can just mass AOE, mass heroes that just own the Phantom Lancer. Well, the first Phoenix pick of the tournament. There's mm -hmm. been a ban hero there. This was one of the top picks in 6.83. Didn't really get touched in the patch. And here we go. 0.84, Phoenix is back, or at least for this game. Phoenix, I think, is actually pretty good here. They don't really have a good way to kill the egg, and I mean, Secret could pick Troll, could pick Meepo, but I doubt it. <laughs> could could be Meepo. <laughs> please, please, Ben. You know, Meepo's good versus Centaur. He's also good versus Phantom Lancer. He's, also, he's, he's good. I don't he know got nerfed him. in the patch. He was not picked before he the patch, did, now he got But he's still very good versus Lina. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, I mean, you're a Meepo player. You should know. You probably see this on my gosh. Glorious Meepo. It's pretty good. It's pretty. Yeah, I, I, he owns illusion-based heroes like yes. really badly. 
PL's just annoying with the doppelganger, but yeah, he, he'd, he'd be pretty good against this game. Laning uh, versus Phoenix is not fun, but... Yeah, once... Please, you have 35% magic resist. Easy. Yeah, poof, if he fire spirits you. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see what the last pick's gonna be now. Malaysia... Likely looking for another support, depending on how they want to run the Phoenix. Could be a four-position Phoenix. So as for Secret, they need their mid lane for S4. Actually, you know, what, what's Malaysia doing here with Centaur, PL, and Phoenix? It actually probably will be a support Phoenix. They haven't got a mid mm -hmm. either. Yeah. Seems about right. Both teams looking for their mid. And Secret choose first, so Malaysia can look to maybe get a pseudo counter pick if they want to. I mean, Malaysia have no good lockdown for Storm. And his Storm is pretty darn scary. I, w I would say that's... Probably the best pick with Keeper of Light in the pool too. Like recalling Storm and feeding him mana is just a nightmare to deal yeah. with. Also, they can have a somewhat soft counter to Phoenix or, uh, with the, the Orchid. Although they do have Dazzle as a backup plan. Would force Malaysia's last pick to be some kind of lockdown. Like to deal with the Storm if they, if they went for that. Mm -hmm. What else is there? Zeus I think is okay too. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more damage just flying around. I, I think Malaysia really like the Razor too, as the other hero. But mm. oh, you, can't, yeah. you can't really pick Razor if they storm, just because I feel like you'd need more lockdown, maybe. But if Team Secret just get like a well, good Razor versus DK. DK's good. Yeah, I think Razor's actually a good, good, good call here. Dragonite's mm. nice at pressuring towers, which is also one of Phantom Lancer's uh, bigger weaknesses. And as we all know, Dragonite did get a buff, a couple of buffs in the patch. Fire Breath. Breathe fire, sorry. I still think that... It should be fire breath. Or, or, breath, or breath of fire. Breath of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will breathe fire on you. There's I will... no other spell names which are like verbs, I don't think. Or I guess they are. No, that's a lie. There's like illuminate. But... Shoot light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> illuminate. As I say that, like the first spell that comes to mind, is like, okay, actually, you know, I take that back. Yeah. Normally it's like a... Shoot hook. <laughs> Dragon tail. This is going to be an old school matchup. Brewmaster are going to be going mid against Dragonite. That's going to be the Ketchikimba hero. And Team Malaysia have a pretty scary team fight with Brewmaster, Phoenix, mm, Centaur. Definitely. And they have a lot of ways to protect those heroes in case they get DK sun. You have Grave, you have a Counter Centaur uh, Initiate, you also have Phoenix with the Egg and swooping in. So Team Secret going to have to be really spot on with the Burst just because they don't have that much AoE control. It's mostly single target with the Hookshot, single target with a Dragon Tail, and they have a lot of AoE damage, but not AoE control. And well, on the flip side, in Malaysia, they have, they have a lot of everything. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see how things unravel here as we get ourselves into the game. I can imagine both teams look like they should have fairly predictable laning set with Zai, your offlane clockwork. The Centaur likely to be in the offlane for Malaysia. You've got a Broom DK, both slided for the mid lane. Unless one of the two teams wants to run a dual lane. Phoenix often you set with a Phoenix Centaur lane, maybe the, the call for Team Malaysia. Well, one thing that I actually notice about these two teams, I was wondering why they picked DK over something like Storm, and it's because Malaysia actually doesn't have good anti-push, and they're also very ulti-reliant. And these ultis at level 1, the Primal Split, as well as the Phoenix Egg, and the Stampede are just really long cooldown at level 1. So I think they're probably looking for Malaysia to make a mistake with one of their ultimates, which is highly likely at some point you're going to just have a wasted ult and then just push down towers very heavily with the sustain from the Keeper of the Light, with the constant uh, damage from Dragonite and Visage Familiars in front, and with the threat of the Hookshot to actually engage a fight if they want to defend. So. I think this actually shapes up to be pretty darn nice. They probably see the DK more as a tempo controller because he can actually go and force Malaysia to make rotations, whereas Storm, he can maybe gank a hero, but he can't... Like what we saw IG do with Dragonite Enchantress, Dragonite just rotate bottom lane and push two towers. Mm -hmm. If you're a Storm, you rotate bottom lane, if you get spotted by a ward, you're not getting any kills, and then you're, you're not pushing either because you're a Storm. If Dragonite gets spotted rotating bottom, it doesn't matter. He, just, he still pushes. So I, I feel like it's more maybe more, more S4-oriented hero. I, I also think it's just you, you straight up need push in this patch. It, it's, yeah. And I, it kind of reminds me of the Hellraiser game where they picked the Pugna, but they were so far behind, and then they just took like two towers with Pugna, and then they just kept taking towers. And it, it's, it's good when you're ahead, it's good when you're behind, and you just have to be able to take objectives. It's not all about kills, even though hero kills do give a little bit more gold. Do you think Malaysia have enough push with their lineup? Because they haven't really got any no. obvious I mean, push. Phantom Lancer has to be get stacked. That's... Yeah their ticket to win the game, and they, they have to keep down a gyrocopter. Again, that is just a, such a mismatch. Uh, it's just a mismatch. Yeah, it's kind of like almost reminds me a lot of the Summer's Rift drafts in games where they had that one big carry for Banana Slam Jammer, and the other four heroes have to create a lot of space and be these more teamfight-centric heroes. But mm -hmm. 
We'll see if Malaysia can pull it off with what they've got going now. It's time, guys. We're going to get into it. We're going to introduce our two teams here. On the dire side, it is the Malaysian squad. Team Malaysia with one life left here at Red Bull Battlegrounds. We've got Ahayo playing the Centaur, likely to head into the off lane. Ketchik Imba, the mid lane player for this team on Brewmaster. We've got Mushi on Dazzle. We're going to see Johnny play Phoenix, and that finally leaves Phantom Lance in the hands of KYXY. On the Radiant side, Team Secret sitting pretty on three lives still. We're going to be running Puppy, the, well, the previous captain for this team, on Keeper of the Light. We're going to have Zai playing Clockwork. It's going to be Gyrocopter in the hands of Arteezy. We've got S4 playing Dragonite. And then finally, that leaves Kuroki playing the Visage. Are you a Visage or a Visage kind of guy? Mm, I go either way. Okay. I usually say visage, but yeah. I, I mean, isn't the correct actual word vis you know, visage? I don't know. I, I, it's been corrected so many times, I don't even know. I think, I think the actual like English word is visage, but I mean, it's it's a proper noun, right? So it might, might exactly. change a little it's bit. It's a hero name. You can say it how, however Valve decided it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Guys, just to remind you guys can follow all the action over at RedBullBattlegrounds.com. And if you're based in San Francisco, check out the tickets for the main event on May 10th. But here we go, Malaysia fighting for the top bounty rune, and more importantly, fighting to stay alive in Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2 to try and make their way to that grand finals in the Warfield Theater on May 10th at San Francisco. One bounty rune apiece between the two teams. More importantly, on the Malaysia side, going to their mid laner. Well, Gyrocopter is 4-0 and zero against Phantom Lancer in this patch. Okay. I'm trying Small sample size. Trying to check all time. You're normally the first one to like doubt stats. It's, and when you've got a four game sample size, I'm going to doubt it. Yeah, well, definitely. I'm just I'm just giving you numbers. I'm not saying that they're straight counters. I'm just giving you numbers to I mean, do what you, you want. You can tell it. me like straight counters, but not based on four games of stats. If you have other, I mean, as you said, the hero by, by its nature is a kind of a PL. Though. Yeah, and I, which I'll agree with. It seems like the weaker teams like PL too, just because it maybe they think they can four protect one peeps. Well, rockets coming out. So fun. Gets bombed. So Secret going with a dual lane of their own. Actually putting the Keep of the Light up top with Clockwork. And on the Malaysia side, actually going for the full trial lane. If anything, I was expecting maybe Malaysia to run the dual lanes with Phoenix, but it seems like they want to try and protect the PL. And we kind of mentioned this is the big thing with their draft. Protect the PL, get him farmed. I guess from that point of view, it makes a lot of sense. And we see Kachikimba in the mid lane taking up a very early point in Drunken Haze. You typically don't see this matchup or this happen against heroes with a spam ability which I think Free Fire would be considered a spam ability, but still pretty nice. Free Fire just, with the new changes with the minus physical damage, makes it really annoying for Kichi Gimba. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Knight's base damage is not that great though. 52 uh, as com compared to Free Master's 58, right. now 61. You're a betting man, Ben. We've got a poll going. Who will get first blood? You guys, at, the viewers at home can bet over at RedBullBattlegrounds.com and take part. 84% secret. Let's in see. In Malaysia with the trial lane, if anything. And well, they have a PL trial lane. Yeah. They're going for the kill. Will they get the first one? The dive so It looks like our betters may be wrong today. They are wrong. Team Malaysia, get it. <laughs> that was Give up the kill and return. Well, you didn't even have to make a prediction. <laughs> you had the answer presented to you as Team Malaysia strike first. They give up their Phoenix, but get the first blood. Last hit went to the Dazzle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Puppy protecting the rune. Looks like S4 maybe waiting for his bottle to get it. Bottom lane has been secured by Kuro picking up that bounty. They're looking to out economize other team. And Panda not having the greatest time in the mid lane. The new, new DK laning stage with that brief fire gets even more annoying for hero. Like and the thing is, any, for any hero. even though Zai gave up first blood, he's still level three. And Centaur's level just hit level two. So, I, I mean, he's getting XP. And this is in a dual lane, mind you. So he's getting some of that shared with Puppy. Yeah. It doesn't seem like the lanes are going too, too badly in that one for one trade didn't really hurt. If anything, it seemed like it's a pretty even trade off. And the lanes seem to go better for Secret than Malaysia. So we'll see how things progress from here. Keeper Light is still level one, so that's partly why Clockwork. I mean, it's a dual lane, but it's a dual lane where Puppy's hardly getting any. Yeah, experience. but they're able to utilize this pool. This should not happen in a three-on-two situation. 
the centaurs are getting slain by Team Secret, and then once it gets low, Coddle can just blast it. And what are you supposed to do about that huge nuke coming in? Look, Amy, he's setting up right now to blast. <laughs> the PL says, let's have, let's see what I can do about that. He actually goes to the low ground with a doppelganger. The heal's there, but not enough damage from it. Nice try, though. I, I, I think we'll cool play. They definitely should try and contest his uh, Keeper Light's movements because he's trying to play a little bit greedy and get the most out of this off lane. It looks like he didn't get the last hit as well in the center. I don't know if you saw. Uh, Clockwork got it with his rocket. Oh, okay. But it still goes the way of Team Secret. And the lane's continuing to look pretty good here as RTZ free farm away in the safe lane. He's your top farmer on 22 last hits and 7 denies. And, and Ohio forced to go somewhere that he doesn't really want to go to. Mm. Well, 4 minute rune coming up. He does have return though, so that should make things Both a little bit better. Both teams looking to fight over this top rune. Phoenix going to swoop in as well and gets the sun. And S4 secures a DD rune of all things. May look to fight this one, but here comes center from the top lane. S4 may be in some trouble. Has the bottle chance to heal up, but not with the Phoenix dive on him. And it looks like S4 gonna go down. Tries to get the return kill on Johnny, but not gonna do so. Meanwhile, top puppy surrounded. The heal. Shadow wave from Mushi gets another kill. Go Malay just went. Zai can't attack the TP out. Oh! At the last second, at the buzzer, Zai gets him with his little cleaver in. Team Malaysia, though, all in all, going to be very pleased, especially with the kill on the Dragon Knight. Yeah, this early Phoenix is just doing so much work, early boots, and that Fire Spirit is pure ownage at early levels when you don't have any plus attack speed. No. And, yeah, I mean, DK has a ton of armor, but looks like he is slowly losing in CS to catch Gimba. Two CS down at this point. Create a bit of space for the PL to get a bit more free farm as well in the safe lane, although he's still behind the Gyrocopter. See, what KOX play does. It's a very annoying lane for him with the constant harass and spam coming out. He was getting blasted earlier by the Keeper of the Light, and I think it's like they made changes. Puppy actually rotates into his own jungle now, deciding that Zai needs the pure solo XP to try to get up to level 6 at this point. It's a little bit too scary now that it's nighttime. They don't have a Observer Ward, so he, I mean, he could just easily die. Spirit lands, juxtapose, or sorry, double walk into a uh, heal bomb. Dive That's... and stuff as well. You get the dive to slow. Yep. Looks like Ohio has returned post to the bottom lane after his foray into the top room. He says it's nighttime, but I ain't scared. The creep wave has pushed up near his tower, so that's the, the good news for him. Mm, Brewmaster picked up a little bit of purple in his inventory. Ah, this is an interesting move to make. He gives the mid lane to the Phoenix and looking to get active on the map, perhaps. At this point, Ohio trying to check the rune. It looks like he's going to jack a lot of the experience. Catching Imbo has not yet popped the smoke. I believe he has been spotted out by the ward, though, and Kuro in a very dangerous position. Without Stampede, they have got the Radiant Vision here, so with the ward in there, they do see this, but the Drunken is slow, the Clap not going to reach, and the Dive actually clips Kuro. That's going to slow him down. Now the Primal Split comes out. This is definitely a kill on Kuro, and Puppy says, you're on your own, mate. I can't do anything to help you. Centaur taking the last hit to help secure his way towards his Blink Dagger. Brewmaster ult, though, plot for that. Not the biggest deal. At the same I'm surprised Kuro stayed there. Oh, Zai getting a jump, jumped on top. Heal Bomb coming out. Oh, Zai hiding out in the trees with RTZ CP. It looks like that will be enough to keep him alive. The call down on Mushi does a decent amount of damage, but Mushi's got a creep wave now. The homing missile can be following him down and no points in Ray. Mushi in trouble, just going to scurry back to his tower and actually dies to the Rocket Barrage. Maxed out, RTZ going for a very aggressive early game build here. I mean, Rocket Barrage is way too good at pass up before. I mean, it might have been questionable before the patch, but no cast time. Yes. Yeah. It's really good. KYXY looking for RTZ, RTZ. And RTZ TP'd up here. They know he's kind of trapped and surrounded. He wants to see which direction he goes. He's going to head towards mid lane and he's got a Phoenix running directly at him. But as you kind of mentioned, Rocket Barrage level four. Very potent. The clap is going to come out. Ketchik Imba gets annihilated. Oh dear. And Arteezy's got another rocket barrage. And this is just tearing apart the Malaysia side. But now Arteezy maybe getting over his head as three Malaysia heroes swoop on in. Phoenix hits the last hit on Arteezy's gyrocopter. Ultimately, an okay exchange to the Brewmaster, although I don't think he expected to die as fast as he did. That level four rocket barrage. Oh boy. That just destroyed the Brew. Mushi really needs to pick up one level in Grave for those particular situations. And just Grave TP, Grave so uh, Brewmaster can use his ultimate, Grave so Phantom Lancer can use his uh, double walk. Zai on top, there's a Shadow Wave here, but he gets inside the Cogs, and that's a problem for Zai, as the Cogs do push KYXY now, and won't be a kill. They do, do zone out Clockwork from this lane, it looks like. Phantom Lancer is also going for a headdress. They really like their mech, I guess. Is he going for a I'm not sure. Mushi Rocket Barrage coming out, getting him low, but 
Poison Touch actually slows him down, which is, I guess, one way of preventing Jarvis. But on the backside, he sees that. Looking around for the hooks. They go diving in, they found Kuro again. They realize Kuro's kind of on his own trying to get level 6, and here comes a higher effect. TP coming down, Stampede gonna block some of the tower damage. No, oh, sorry, what I'm talking about. Doesn't block damage until you got the Axe Scepter. Visage gets the kill on the Phoenix, and a higher now, trapped underneath. Looking for a double edge, but won't even be able to use that against the battery assault. Zai got a double kill. He's suddenly level eight. That is that, so much experience for Zai. And yeah, he died once, but it's not hurt him that badly. S4 sieging the mid tower with that corrosive breath. Looks like there is nothing in sight for Malaysia to defend with. Maybe catch Gimma, but he does not have his blink dagger at this point. That's the power of the DK. He really can push and pressure towers. As soon as he hits six, that's all he needs. You leave the lane and suddenly your tier one tower is gone. Yeah, Malaysia's trying to punish this greed, and I think they've been doing, doing a pretty good job about it, but Secret's just applying pressure on multiple sides of the map at once, and I think a lot of that has to do with Arteezy's rotations. And yeah, he paid for it, but at least he's making this PL thing twice. Already forced out another doppelganger from him. Oh, he's going for a Vlad's. What is this strange build from Phantom Lanes? Headdress, Vlad's recipe, and Bassy. The headdress is, you need the headdress for the Vlad's now. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, is that a mech? I or got confused by that yesterday when I saw uh, a headdress come out. I was like, huh? mm. it, was, it was S4 and Brewmaster got a headdress. I'm like, oh, he's going for, like, I thought he was going for the new boots or whatever, because he had Arcane Boots headdress. So I was like, oh, he's going for the, the new boots. But Good no, call. he went for the Vlad's. Forgot about that. So. Cool. Well, that's PL, you see every now and then. Oh, yeah. It's no, not, that's not uncommon. Yeah. It's really nice for sustain. Mask Man is getting a little bit of a nerf. It's sometimes a go-to for players if you do not have a bottle for sustain. S4 trying to stack up a little bit as he checks a 10-minute rune. S4, I mean, Dragon Knight's really good at taking out stacks, but he needs level 11 to do so. Oh, actually, Dragon Knight is also really good for Phantom Laser because he has that AoE uh, splash damage. Yeah. yeah, that splash damage got buffed as well. That was one of the other decent buffs to Dragon Knight this, this patch, so... See how the DK comes to play. It's the most farmed here in the game as far as net worth goes at the moment, so... That's good news for Team Secret, who across the board are looking really solid on all their cores. Visage still looking for level 6. We've seen him a few times at this bottom lane get picked off, but there we go. He gets level 6. As Familiar is now available to uh, assist himself as well as his team. Ohio is also level 6 though. Yeah. So Stampede available. I think the one big thing Malaysia is still looking for is Phoenix to reach level yeah. 6 to get Supernova. One more creep it looks like. Yeah. Phoenix so, will get in the mid lane. A lot of ultimates online. I mean, it was pretty important for Mushi to get 6, but instead he does pick up a Weave instead of Shallow Grave. Huh. Could come back to bite them. But like Malaysia really need their blinks right now, both Brewmaster and Central, before they can do too much. Zai makes a move towards the bottom lane, looking to pick up Ohio. Can he hit this hit the switch out? Look for the stampede. The hookshot could still find him. He's gonna try to scout the rocket flag. Could look for the blind hook, and Ohio gets a stomp. This is looking bad for him, though. Hookshot can still go through. He's holding on to it for now. Zai wants to make sure he doesn't miss. Ohio trying to juke. He's gonna hit it. Ohio can only juke for so long, and then Zai came on in. Double edge gets thrown out, a bit of space created, but top lane, how much space is it? It's KYXY taking heavy damage from a cooldown, and it doesn't look like Mushi as well as KYXY can do much about this, especially with the Dragonite rotating in. This may just be a tower they have to abandon at this point. I don't know. Ketchikimba is right around there. He's really he desperate for his uh, Blink Dagger. Until he has that, it seems very difficult for him to come in. Got smokes up on the Malaysia side. Both Dazzle as well as now Phoenix picking one up, but... Keeper Light doing some creeping shenanigans here. Being very efficient with his double Illuminate. And S4. Picked up an Ogre Club. Saw, what, IG when they went for the Dragonite go for the, the Shadow Blade first into the BKB, I believe it was. But... Ogre Club in the Shadow Blade. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Why not? I, oh, he got like a... Net. Oh, that... Okay. He had a big influx of gold. Yeah. And... The thing is, Malaysia's not close to killing any towers, and yeah, the kill score is even, but the way the game is progressing, Malaysia, they, they're struggling to get a foothold in the game. They need Blink Dagger, they need Brew Ultimate to be useful, they need Stampede online with a Blink Dagger, and I mean, those all come at a priority, uh, and that's that's considering like PL getting farm too. So like they can't push towers and get PL farm and get Blink Daggers and kill people with their ultimates. Like it, this, I feel like this pick up for the Brew has to now start getting something done. Malaysia need a team fight around Stampede, Supernova, and this Blink. How does Visage have so much HP? He has 1119 HP. Is that? Treads wand, I guess. I mean, is that I mean, for real? 
Whew. And Visage, I mean, it is a fairly... I mean, as far as HP growth goes and strength, he's I mean, one of the better here. Right? Brew has support. less than a thousand. Centaur has right around a thousand. Well, smoke comes out. Visage oh, 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 the dragon tall. Catching him and needs a grave. Where is it, Mushi? I don't think he's leveled it up yeah, still. Yeah. Oh boy, they won't even get the supernova off. S4 was ready and prevented the Brewmaster split. This dazzle skill build has really cost Malaysia, it feels like. It's, it's just a safety net. Like, weave is useful, but if you don't get off your Brewmaster roll, you're gonna lose a fight. Whereas if you don't get a weave off, it's not the end of the world. And that's gonna be two towers. And now Phantom Lancer is feeling, probably feeling really threatened. It's like, oh crap, my team is just getting destroyed everywhere else without me, and it's not a good feeling. The KY is what he's feeling right now. He's trying to just do what he can on his own. Split push the map, but... Oh, they do have their ultimates up still, though. That's, okay, so they can respawn and look to take a fight. Yeah, it's secret aside. Let's not get too over aggressive. Let's actually defend our T1 now. It's easy. He the result here. And the call out available. We'll throw it. KY XY. Charges forward. Solo kills on TZ. Awkward. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think he wanted... He should drop the call down earlier. I think he underestimated the damage from the Vlad's PL. Yeah. I mean, he, he does a lot. He's also giving KYXY a secondary slow after the Spirit Lance. That was a big kill. That's huge. And now KYXY might be able to get the tower after getting a gyrocopter kill. So, yeah, Malaysia lost a big fight, but I think more than made up for it. With this KYXY, though, maybe in pursuit by Zai. He's like, is this another solo kill? Is, is this happening? Maybe. He's going to go for the tower, gets glyphed up now, and Zai going to have to make a move. He wants to deny it, could go in for a Cox, but gets slowed down by a Lance, trying to get the battery sold out. Anyway, XY gets pulled into the Cox, he goes for the tower now, will get the last hit, but needs to escape and will actually get the doppelganger out. Anyway, XY making space as well as plays happen for his team, and now he's got the support of the Centaur up here. Does he go for this one? He's got a Lance to set things up, but the Centaur going to sit back for now. Yeah, not sure what S4 saving up for. It looks like it could be the Ogre Club in the Shadowblade build again. Honestly. Well, it looks like Seeker ready to group up and go for this top tier one tower. Uh-oh. Brewmaster teeping in with a Blink Dagger. This could be really bad for Seeker. They don't have the T1 to fall back to anymore. See what Ketchikimba can do. He's looking for the engagement. He's the Sandal going with the Blink Stun. And this time there's no Dragon Tail for Brewmaster. S4. Locked in place for now. The Supernova comes out as well. That's a Supernova that cannot be dealt with. S4 likely to be the first to fall. No one on the Malaysian side taking too much damage. One dead. They want Arteezy next. Trying to stay away from the Rocket Brush. Johnny, he's down though. A high gets off a second stun. Trying to escape. Solo Sumter will find him though. In secret, they're turning this one around. The power of this Gyrocopter really being shown here. And Mushi. Trying to just hide his way into the depth of these trees. He's going to get caught out. Blown up by Visage. Kuroki dishing out some serious damage with those soul assumptions. And that was pretty much three ultimates oh. used to kill all S4. He's just so tanky. And he also bought his hammer right before. I and mean, look at the damage that both Visage and Keeper of the Light had the highest damage dealt of anyone in that fight. Everyone was just sitting in there, soaking up Illuminate, soaking up soul assumptions. That was just... Not the... I mean, Malaysia just don't have the damage for that fight. That was the perfect blink stun, blink clap split, and Phoenix had the supernova right in the middle of everything. I mean, Dragonite's really tanky. He has 1450 HP, and he has a ton of armor, and he's just not your ideal target. I mean, you need to kill him, though, or else your tower's going to you fall. just, like, cyclone him and go for someone else? You need to go for, I feel like, the supports of the pack. Or Arteezy. Arteezy getting all focused. Arteezy, there we go. They're going to go in this time around. They're fighting without Arteez, and now Keep the Light Illuminate comes in. Just had a lot of damage, and now the Solar Substance go flying. Two Malaysian heroes have dropped. They've taken out Arteezy, though, but it's still not looking good for them. Three dead on their side, a higher Blinks East. We'll look for that TP escape, and it looks like he'll find his way out of there. Yeah, that's a big mistake by Malaysia. They're, they're tempted by the gyrocopter kill, and they know they can kill him with the blink stun, but at the same time, they don't have ultimates, which is pretty much their bread and butter for escaping a fight. Uh, with the egg and the brewmaster ult like, transforming you, so you're invulnerable for a period of time, and they just all pay for it. And 3 for one is not worth it, even when gyrocopter is your target. Hey, why, X, why, please. This is some aggressive stuff from him. He will be okay. Trying to get aggro on the secret side. And secret! They look to end this game quickly. Zai on the clockwork has picked up a Vlad of his own. Engage and they blink him with a central stampede. The dive goes through as well, but the follow-up not really there. The Brewmaster split still not available, and without that, Malaysia weren't ready to fight, but now it's back up. But see what Ketchik has in mind. He has to be very wary of that dragon tail. Offensive weave used from Mushi. 
But this don't is think catching. not a good time for Seeker to go in. Their Vizzers birds are uh, down on the ground. Catching Gimba looks like he is ready for an initiation. And he really wants level up. two ulti though in the brew. He's still just level ten. They just have not gotten enough mileage out of the Brewmaster, and this is his time to shine. Like eight to twenty-five minutes. That's when Brewmaster is supposed to dominate the game. But yeah, I mean, Secret just putting a lot of pressure, and they really use recall well too. Just immediately putting pressure out on that mid tower and the top tower at the same time. And Malaysia with their big team fight ultimate, do they really want to use it on like one or two supports on top? The other crazy thing about Secret is the current net worth of their heroes. They've got five of the top six heroes in the game. Their supports are ridiculously fun. Puppy has Arcane Boots Mac. Visage has 6k net worth. The item progression on these heroes is absolutely insane wow. right now. Visage has a freaking solo crest. Oh, but that helps against the PL for the Gyrocopter especially. If PL is rushing at you, you give him some evasion, give him a lot of armor. Yeah, kind of counters Weave. Okay. Very pesky item for Malaysia to have to deal with. And Malaysia is going to get difficult from here on out. You've got such high farm all across the board on Secret. Everyone between so that kind of six can stand up. Yeah, there we go. They're successful. Not to keep it alive. The mech not going to help out there. Kuro gets stampeded on through it. Doesn't look like he'll be able to finish off a higher here. Whereas at the soul assumption on Johnny. Supernova comes out just to make sure the beat stays alive. But Kuro almost gets out of there until Ohio finds him with the double legs. But this stun will cancel Ohio's TP out. Ohio now one last stun, but he goes down to the rocket barrages. Arteezy gets himself another kill and. To the west dives your Phoenix and Arteezy Max, he paid for this one with his life. That's his full death of the game and Malaysia with a decent 3 for 1 trade. S4 looking for more, but... Yeah, that was a mistake by S4. He chased to the right and tried to kill the kill another hero. And I, I mean, he could have saved Jarrah, but I think that's more important. Uh-oh. KYX, but he was not expecting that clockwork rotation and... Doppelganger to the, the side and... See if KYXY can keep on juking and jiving here. Zai will have a rocket play, but I don't know if he can catch up to KYXY. So KYXY may be able to get himself out of this one. One more rocket play will be coming in 10 seconds' time. And KYXY, get out your juke and choose. He should have enough HP by the. Oh, snipe by the Illuminate. Puppy comes in, gets him from downtown. Great TP by Keeper. That rocket play was not going to be enough damage with the, the string threads and that one, even just the one stick charge. Well, at the end of the day, both carries end up dying, and Malaysia used a smoke mm. and don't get the target that they want. Still looking, yeah, because we passed Malaysia. PL is doing just fine, but this has very much become a four protect one. Yeah, and I mean, Secret are getting their items. Uh, as we mentioned before, the oh, no, no. They get their items. They're also getting their initiation. Side finds another pickup here on Clockwork. That's what we're trying to kill, kill He also has steal. BKB now too, so it's it's really difficult to burst him down. They can't really chain stun him either because of the solo crest. This is where you definitely have to just ignore Dragonite. Throw him up in the air with a Cyclone from Brewmaster, but that's about the extent of it. Veil, pretty useful item on the clockwork. I think it synergizes very well with Gyrocopter, uh, but probably more importantly, it will be able to nail those army of PL illusions as well as reveal the real PL with that tint of purple. It's actually a, a really good point there. Finding the real PL always with the veil once it's on him. Yeah, I mean, and then they can just nail a rocket on him too. One of the kind of unknown counters to the PL. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot There's a lot of counters to PL nowadays, it seems. And it looks like MY grouping up for a movement together. The Radiant Vision is so good. At some point, they'll just say, OK, they're not farming the jungle. They're not going down they mid lane. They're already rocketed Roche. That's how. And so yeah. wary they are. See, that's where Malaysia are headed right now. And they have to know something. It's, it's been far too long. Okay, wait for the expire. It does wear off now. They haven't got the best lineup for killing it, though, unfortunately. And the other problem is you've got familiars. We've got the likelihood of another rocket flare coming out. Well, looks like Puppy will be split pushing top by his lonesome. Everyone else still huddled around their towers, waiting for the smoke to reveal. Now the KYX is on bottom lane. Yep. They have to know everyone else is in here. It is just far too obvious. And Kuro will send his familiars in a scout out. We'll catch a couple of heroes. Yep. There's one familiar, maybe just forces out a resummon here. But Keeper Light can kind of split push the top lane and just look to force rotations. I don't imagine Malaysia commit to anything down here. If anything, they just probably want to TP back and push out their other lanes, or they may be worried about some defending. Or... Now KYXY has TPs at a top lane. That is a signal for MY to retreat. However, Keeper Light, maybe he might recall someone. It looks like he has. Kill. Brings in Zai. 
That's a difficult kill. Yeah. It feels like you need well, the clockwork. They can also last. wait for another recall, though. Possible. Yeah, he can, like, shocker himself and recall to get another one really quickly. Yep, that's what they're doing. This kill here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Big jump here, and he can't do it. And he can be in time, gets it off now, and the physical damage is not really the greatest from these heroes. They're trying to bring him down just barely at the last second. Mushi gets off the Shadow Wave. Meanwhile, top lane, PL just fine. They bring down the T2 tower, at least. But Secret lose Dragonite as well as his precious 10-second BKB. Nice little gank by Malaysia. That's a big kill to be getting at this stage of the game. Yeah, that's huge. They, they really have to do like a... Oh, Ketchik. Maybe forced to split, but won't even get a chance to do so. That first damage with the Solar Crest. This tower under a little bit of seed from bottom, but Puppy right there with a big old Cauto Blast. And that will be the word back for Malaysia. And I mean, Malaysia, they're getting a decent amount off the map, but secret, they're always getting a tower here, tower there. And I mean, maybe a Malaysia, kill here, a kill there. They only have one tower <laughs> left on, on the outside of their base, just the T2 on top or on bottom rather. Well, Zai's still chasing here around the bottom lane, but decides against it. Here, pace around. Arteezy getting chased Top by lane. KYXY. Yeah. But, hmm. KYXY is going to take a long time to reach that scary late game status because he's gone for these, like, this kind of drums, blads, treads, I mean, even the Yasha, like all these kind of casual item pickups that aren't really your super late game items. I'll help him farm faster and stay alive, but... I'm not sure if Arteezy took out the Ancient Stack or not. It kind of seems that way because he has leapfrogged over PL and Net Worth, and the Ancient Stacks are currently clear. So it may look like Arteezy might not be able to get that big and bad, but he does have the HOD. HOD PKB, he's... I mean, he's the late game threat, really, and that's where PL can only do so much. Okay, well, Dragonite's the other hero, too. You can have a Dragonite who's gone BKB. And just, even if he doesn't go Shadow Blade, you can go for, for other items like an Assault Crest and really turn your Dragonite maybe into more fighting mid laner that can counter out the PL. I've seen items like Maelstrom in the past picked up, especially against Illusion-based heroes. It's still hard for him to farm. Dragonite is not a terribly good farmer unless you have Ancient Sex, but that is reserved for the Gyrocopter. Well, it's do or die for Team Malaysia. They need to find a way to turn this game around because this is their last life of Red Bull Battlegrounds. And well, unfortunately for Johnny, he's been the target of many a challenge throughout this tournament, and it's been a tough couple of days for Team Malaysia. But right now, Secret can just continue to sit back, and this would be their, just their second game of the tournament. And a win here would secure their spot in the finals and look to make it happen. They make their way towards the mid Tower. Blinking from a higher, misses the sun, and that's what BKB is. A higher gets forced up now, but into the waiting arms of Zyda. Oh, maybe gets it up, mate. The grave not going to work against the cogs. Trapped in place, and Zyda going to finish up a higher one. They go for the other kills, but it's This is a high ground push. That's so swift, and a nice move by Seeker smoking into the mid lane. Baiting out S4 because they knew that they went on him before, and they're going to take a ton of damage in the T3. Got Vlad, get a react yeah, on Solar Press, and then got the Keeper. Is that an Axe on Keeper Live? What? Not yet. Okay, not yet. Four South Mech for now. Hasn't actually upgraded the Arcane Boot Mech into the new boots, which, but I imagine that may be something that also comes out with due time. Yeah, very explosive lineup from S or from Secret and S4. I mean, S4 has done so much damage to the towers at 470 HP. Maybe get one more volley in before Centaur revives, but it looks like they are also backing Dragon Knight Ultimate wearing out in about five seconds' time. Yeah. I'll play it safe there, getting close to another couple of items, like your GDK sitting on 2,000 gold suddenly, Kuro's getting close to an Ag Scepter, Keeper of the Light's close to an Ag Scepter. You may as well may wait for this next level of items. And on top of that, this really nice Mord has been placed too, so... I mean, it, if Malaysia smokes, it's kind of obvious because no one's there, and if they don't smoke, it's really obvious that someone's there. And now they can shoot in probably a rocket. Oh, Let's see. Really. Where is Ozai? He does have his rocket up, but he hasn't actually used it yet. Oh, they're gonna get scattered out now. Radiant Rocket Flare comes on top of the Roche and it sees Malaysia, sees what they're doing. And the Solar Crest trying to help things out, but here comes RT. They're gonna blink out and look for escape. They get a two hero stun on Poppy as well as S4. Can they bring him down? Fish Phoenix Supernova comes out and Team Secret. They're gonna lose Puppy to start up the fight. The Central did go down for turn and Arteezy in BKB form is holding his own, fighting through the KYXY Phantom Lance who dies as well as Mushi on Dazzle. Secret get a triple kill onto Artur as Malaysia's Phoenix as well as Brewmaster just scurry away and they've left Roshan nice and low for the taking. 
Sunray trying to delay things or make things worrisome. Yeah, but they don't have ultimates. Yeah, there's no way yeah. they can contest this. And Vlad's this. Very nice play from Zai. Zai used the Veil on the Phantom Lancer. They found out where he is, and they just homed in on him. Yeah, sure, he had the Shallow Grave on. They almost killed the Egg, too. I think Arteezy was the only one focusing it with his uh, BKB, but in the end of the day, Malaysia's ultimates were not enough, and Secret looking to close this game out very quickly. Yep, S4 gets solo crit the tower, even getting that mischance, and... Well, this is this is looking worrisome from the lane. That mid lane of barracks under siege here. TP coming back in from Dazzle, catching him on the front line. Says not have primal split here. I just gonna go blinking in with the sun trying to find some time. In goes Ketchik as well, but he is not good old man. He gets stunned up. He may become the new target. Solar subjects bring him low, but do not finish him off. Meanwhile, the clockwork hook helps get him a double kill. Mushi and the higher are dead. And KYXY forced a doppelganger away. He won't go down to this, but Team Secret have claimed a melee racks in mid lane. They mech up. Everyone back to full HP, more or less, and they'll get the range racks as well and could consider rotating towards top lane, and that's what S4 has in mind. Leading the charge up there, no more dragon form, though. Does make things a bit trickier. But here comes some new item pickup. Sanj and Yasha now acquired the gyrocopter, and they're going to keep on pushing, it looks like. Solar Crest, even just on a creep at this point, anything to help the push up, anything to help sustain this is... They still have the Aegis, that's the scary part. Yeah. Everyone's pretty much topped off at this point. And Zai's got another hook shot. You've got to watch out if you're Malaysia. They're waiting on the response. They'll have Split as well as Stampede. One last hurrah, perhaps, and we'll see what Secret's move is going to be. Maybe they wait for the Dragon form, but with Aegis, it feels like they can take some risks here. You know what's ridiculous? The Visage is more farm than the Phantom Lancer. Visage. It's a, a sad, sad state of game from Team Malaysia fans right now. Yeah, and it seems Four like... Four of the five Malaysia heroes more farm <laughs> than PL. And Keeper of the Light is up there, almost on par. The most successful 6.84 games that we've seen, I think, is when the supports get really, really far, and yep. the position two and the position three aren't that far. That was the Hellraiser's game as well, mm -hmm. with like the Pugnan dying. Everybody had 8k plus net worth. And the position one and position two, aren't, it's never a full protect one. The position one, like Arteezy, this game was never that far ahead of his team. Earlier on in this game, he was like the same level of farm. It was actually the Dragon Knight who was topping the farm chart, so. Oh, this is it. All five ultimates up for Malaysia, although Phantom Ultras doesn't really count. Secret, it seems, just one last push away from securing their spot Look at, at the Johnny's San Francisco spot. Grand Final. Team goes to high with a blink hook stop. KYXY trying to bring down Puppy as well, but the blinding light causing him problems here. Zai gonna get locked inside his own cockpit, possibly with a fight he doesn't want to take, but KYXY takes a huge hit with the Illuminate happening. Meanwhile, on the enemy base, Malaysia on full retreat. They're Rex under siege here. There's a fight going on, but Malaysia, maybe they realize they're losing Rex. They're trying to fight it out with KYXY, but he goes down to the Illuminate. Insta fight trying to take this one, catching him, but his ulti's worn off. He's going for Puppy, but Puppy has force up. They're just too out far, too many items on the team secret side of things. And up, oh, catching him, but stun number one, stun number two, stun number three. Perfect chain stun coming in from Kuro's business. Catching him, but caught out of the corner as is Mushi. He dies to the gyrocopter corner. Next in line could be your grave dove catching him, but Brumasa, he's dead. And Team Malaysia, they look done for. They're, they're chewing through their buybacks here. They're losing heroes left, right, and center. All for a clockwork kill so far. And it's GG, Team Secret. Knock out Team Malaysia. And they are going through to the grand finals where they will be facing on IG in a best of five. We don't even see that matchup at the playoff. These two teams are going to be going into that grand finals. All the more hype. Woo. Excellently played by Secret. I, I mean, they seem to have, I mean, it seems like push is a very big component in this patch, and it's 